Hey everybody, John here. Obviously, and uh, as you might know, Justin Trudeau, the Prime Minister of Canada, <coughs> for now, has uh, yesterday or day before yesterday declared the uh, invoked the power of the Emergencies Act, which I have the text of in front of me right now. And I haven't even read the whole thing. I've just read the first couple of paragraphs, the first couple of entries, and I'm going to read them to you. Uh, national emergency. For the purpose of this act, a national emergency is an urgent and critical situation of a temporary nature that a. seriously endangers the lives, health, or safety of Canadians and is of such proportions or nature as to exceed the capacity or authority of a province to deal with it, or b. Seriously threatens the ability of the government of Canada to preserve the sovereignty, security, and territorial integrity of Canada, and that cannot be effectively dealt with under any other law of Canada. That's the test of criteria that this act must satisfy in order to be invoked. And if you have watched uh, any of the actual footage of the trucker protest, the Freedom Convoy, whatever it is you want to call it, that uh, small fringe minority of Canadians who have unacceptable views in Ottawa, you know, the, the bouncy castles and the free food and the, the child care and the saunas and the, the party atmosphere and the fact that <laughs> crime is down 90% in Ottawa since that thing began happening. Ask yourself the question, do these criteria meet the test like have these criteria been met justifying the invocation of the emergencies act i'll read them again for the purpose of this act a national emergency is an urgent and critical situation of a temporary nature that a seriously endangers the lives health or safety of canadians and is of such proportions or nature as to exceed the capacity or authority of the province to deal with it or b seriously threatens the ability of the government of Canada to preserve its sovereignty, security, and territorial integrity of Canada, and that cannot be effectively dealt with under any other law of Canada. Uh, I'm going to give you my answer. The uh, truckers' protest in Ottawa and across this country does not even begin to approach either of these two criteria. So Justin Trudeau has invoked this act without meeting the criteria that need to be met for this to be legally invoked, which means that the present state of declared emergency under which uh, he has superpowers as a dictator has suspended the normal rule of law. I mean, this is an act that allows the government to break its own rules, to break its own laws, and suspend the civil liberties and the freedom and the, the legal rights of Canadians to seize property to compel labor and to seize financial assets, including your bank accounts. That's the power that he gave himself, and the test necessary to invoke this law has not been met, which means he has illegally given himself dictatorial powers. Justin Trudeau is likely going to go to jail, and if he doesn't, then this country doesn't have a legal system anymore. Justin Trudeau is a lawless Prime Minister. A bandit king, not a Prime Minister. Thanks for listening, and as always, have a lovely day.